Welcome back to Minecraft Survival with Redstone. This is episode 11. Today we're going to do kind of a step back to see how our our first hideout, what it, all the, the different workings, and this was actually Hetra Wow's idea. And so uh, I'm just going to go over kind of what we did over there and sort of how it, all the stuff worked, um, what the purposes were. Just to show you guys, look at this. That I was just outside working and I came back in and this place was just loaded with this sugar cane. Maybe I can even show you how much I've already collected. I'll probably come in here for maybe, I don't know, since we built this, maybe four or five hours total of gameplay. So yeah, there it is right there. Quite a bit. Not enough yet though, we still need more. Okay, so, um, if you guys remember, before I take you over to the other side, real quick, I'll take you as a flashback and show you what we were doing last episode. I'm going to tear down all of this. Um, so for now, we'll just go straight that way. So what did you guys think of the... The reed farm build, that was pretty cool. I mean, sorry, sugarcane farm build. Automated sugarcane. That was pretty cool. Okay, so that's what we did last episode. Now we're going to show you the after. This is the beauty. And I wanted to do it during nighttime because this looks pretty cool. Put in fences, not right next to, but further out. And I used uh, things like, you know, one inch spacing so these guys can't get to us. The only ones that would be able to get to us would be the, of course, skeletons, as he's trying to do so right now. Um, and then there's cliffs, and you know, they drop drop off so they can't jump up here. But it's really well lit. Is that an enderman? I swear I heard one. Those are a problem. <laughs> um, pretty much every inch of this place is covered by trees. I grew in a bunch of trees right up next to or even built one in like this one I built up and built on top of. So when it snows, no snow actually gets on this path and that makes it, things a lot easier. Um, but there is fencing throughout the entire place to ensure that guy doesn't get in. <laughs> So I can taunt him if I wanted to. What are you doing, buddy? No, no, no. Get out of here. Go home. I'll take your XP's. Come on, XP. Come on, XP. Fine, you're going too slow. Um. So yeah. All right. We'll head back over to our uh, original. So then I made a small, a small just turn to the right so that we can go towards our original. I did dress up our tower so it looks a little bit more medieval I guess you should say that kind of looks off sitting next to our lookout tower but eh, who cares that's cool okay so I think oh I want to show you we spawned in I believe right over here next to this pond I think our spawn point was right here if not right here, then it was pretty darn close. It was like here. And why are those missing? Creepers having fun over here or something? I don't remember blowing them up. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we spawned in over here. Carter made me get snowballs over here. And uh, let's see. So we went over this way and found ourselves here. And there was coal here and in there and we went inside there and let's see that wasn't explored yet and this is the button I like to use because it I do this on the insides of all of my doors because I get tired of having to open and close everything the first thing we did was we um, came in here and checked it out um, we closed off the wall used to be a hole here and there wasn't a wall here but we created this wall and closed up the ceiling a little bit it was pretty far closed anyways except for like right here 
So we closed it off and then we came over here and checked it out and then we started boring down. So this was the original uh, downward staircase and then we created a railway. And so we'll go on our railway and this takes us all the way down to our mine, our strip mine, not our strip mine, I'm sorry, our uh, branch mining facility, I guess you can call it, our operation. So there's the path, it's the original one, and here's what we've got now. So there was a natural water cavern up in here, and so I just used it and made sort of like a, a waterfall system. Um, when I was down here, I explored in three directions there. I first started here, and then I went that way, and then I went that way. And I hit lava here, so I had to stop, but there is still some obsidian this way. I made sort of like a little food. Um, you know, just like a little storage area for a bunch of stuff. I have enough cobblestone to last a lifetime. Ooh. Grab some of this. We're going to need it. Yeah. Okay, just take it all. Um, I started to create like a bedroom here. But I decided, you know what? I didn't really need it because I wasn't down here that long. Um, and our zombie spawner, Carter and I did the zombie spawner and it's way down here. I'm almost there, I think. Where's the sign? I thought I made a sign. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. This is the for when the, the episode that Carter did, the bonus episode. That uh, we went searching for the zombie sound, or searching for some sound, and we went this way, and it's up here. I haven't done anything with it yet. Come on, guys. So anyway, I don't, do we have anything in here? Nothing. Well, let's take this. Okay. Oh, this. Let me get us to the other side. Be right back. Okay, so we uh, also went this way. And one other thing I did create without you guys being around is because I was getting tired of going back up and upstairs and everything. As I was finishing mining down here, and um, we created a wheat farm upstairs, and I was I was getting to the point where I was, you know what, I want one downstairs too. And so I created this. Now this water is from is a flow off. And I know I just destroyed one, but it's a flow off here. Let me see if I can. Of that pond that was in there. You know, this natural source of water. So I didn't have to do any kind of, you know, pouring of water or anything. I just cut into this, both of those sides, and, and they filter out eight squares down on each side. And that made it so I had... Uh, wheat. The only problem is that this wasn't automated and I don't want to even waste my time doing that. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to come back here. And I don't need those or this or that or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Well, anyway, okay. So yeah, and then this is just an endless, I mean, I could probably run forever down this shaft, uh, but it just goes on and on, and it also ends with lava. So all three of these end with lava, and they're really, really long. I mean, I remember sometimes when it glitches and you can, like, inch, and, see, and when you're looking down from, like, the up there at the top, and you can see underground, and if you move at all, it'll, like, go away. And I could see these strip mines in it. They're huge. They're huge. They go forever. So let's go back to the top. I was going to do like a, you know, like uh, those mines that you can find. Um, I was going to do that, that wood pattern throughout the whole way down, but I didn't do it because I, I was running out of stuff to mine down there. Well, anyway, there's another thing that we created was a 
I guess you could call it a mob grinder or an XP grinder. And we did that right in here. This is our uh, spawner for skeletons. We found this by complete accident. So what happens is they spawn in. You could you saw those flashes. Well, they land on those pressure plates, and the green moss bricks push them off of the pressure plates, which pushes them into the water, and that water is supposed to be sucking them down. They like that. So they get forced to go down, and at the bottom there is a conveyor belt, which I did change. Um, I actually wanted to show it to you guys well, anyway, but they go up this uh, water ladder, which Carter sang to you guys for. So there's a song that uh, <laughs> he sang. Uh, but they go up this and then they come down on this side um, and then we can take their XP and their bones and arrows and we s or they just die uh, it's a 22 it's either a 22 or 21 drop and some of them die some of them don't one time I stood here for an hour just just because I could and I wanted to get all this XP that I have right now and because and there must have been, I don't know, 50 of them just standing there bouncing up and down just like that. And it, and that's, I just got all my XP just like that. And then that's where I got most of this stuff. I mean, I've been filling these up. But I want to show you guys. How did I get in there? it anyways as much I'll come back and clean it up well, as you could tell I blocked it off because they're still spawning up there um, I almost want to just jump in there yeah, anyway so I made it so they went around come on dude knock it off thank you they get pushed down through here instead of going straight through and it, for some reason it makes them as before the other one just they get stuck and I'm not even pushing any keys or anything but this made it so that they they went up through here and then they go up see and you can tell that they're up there waiting and I'm just gonna go just because we're gonna get stuck you know what no I'll be back Okay, so we're back up here, and if you guys wanted to see the backing of the uh, pressure plates, like, and so the the way they work is uh, they fall on these pressure plates, and the pressure plate activates this. Yeah, play like that, dude. That's not nice. The pressure plate, when stepped on, see, right now that block is powered. And when stepped on it inverts the power, which turns this, turns it off like that, which then powers this block, which then this turns on to look like this, which then powers the piston, and the piston goes out and pushes them off of the pressure plates. And it's an instantaneous sort of thing, so it's a zip line straight up through there. So it's just that much easier to do stuff like that. Anyway, it looks like they're deciding that they're going to start being active. So I'm just going to close it up. No! Alright. So that's what that is. And then we have, of course, our wheat farm. And I was here just not that long ago. As you can tell, I've got got some bread so and again the way this works is we just throw the switch and the water comes rushing through I'll just do it for just because I can and I've got plenty of seeds to, to replace I love watching that it's, it's awesome it's like open up the dams because we're gonna anyways um, 
So yeah, well, I think that we've got everything. We've got, uh, I showed you guys over there at the new place that we've got the you know, sugarcane farm. Um, we've got the path. We've got our tower. Um, I think that we've covered pretty much everything that we've got so far. And so therefore, I think we're good. This probably is going to be a really quick episode since there wasn't too much to show. Just whatever, everything I've done in here. Um, because I really haven't done too much exploring past outs uh, outside of here. I mean, we have kind of, we've gone in there. We've done a little bit of, um, as far as lumberjacking, I guess you can call it. Tearing, tearing down all these trees around here. If there's a torch next to it, I tore down the tree and replanted it. Um, let's see, you could probably, we could probably go up there and then look down and tell how far out I cut down trees, but yeah. But anyway, again, thank you everybody for your comments. If you, uh, want me to do anything or see, if you want to see something like, uh, Hetcherow mentioned, do you want to see what, what everything that was in here? Then just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, if you leave a like, if you enjoyed yourself and, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.